Good evening. <coughs> Captain Matt Edwards retired here with another one of my short videos. I want to talk about the uh, taxation of workers' compensation, or it shouldn't be taxed because it's supposed to be damages. However, they found a sneaky way to uh, reduce the cost of the workers' compensation system. They claim that they can uh, give a person, say, 80% of the net benefits, and then they say that the count of the pension plan EI and taxes are taken into account, and then they give you 80% of that benefit. Now, the problem with that, <coughs> and I used to be a tax collector, as some of you guys might remember, is that they don't actually remit the amounts that they say they uh, took out in accordance with Section 1531 of the Income Tax Act. They don't actually send it in to uh, Canada Revenue Agency. Now, <coughs> there's another even more insidious problem here, is that they say they take into account the probable EI and uh, Canada Pension Plan contributions. Now, they, uh, they reduce the Canada Pension Plan, they offset the Canada Pension Plan as well, but they also take into account the contributions. Now, that's insane. You're not supposed to take off uh, you, you can't draw a pension at the same time you're paying into the uh, in the form of a contribution. So that whole concept is out to lunch. Now, one other point. CRA's IT365R2 is the uh, CRA's position on damages. And it says that even if periodic damages are paid out based on the uh, rate of pay that you were paying, uh, getting before you were disabled, then it still damages and not, not taxed. Because there's a case from 1966 called Jennings and the Supreme Court of Canada case, and it says that damages are not taxable because you're getting paid back the loss, the capital loss, and you're getting uh, compensated, which means replaced. They replace the value of your body, so you get it tax-free because your body is not being taxed. Seems like the government and many insurers want to take into account tax but in Jennings, it said that if they took the value of tax into account, then basically you are subsidizing uh, the defendant or the wrongdoer or the insurer of the defendant to the detriment of the person who's disabled. Now, that principle holds true even today because when workers' compensation takes that into account, they're preferring themselves over to the disabled worker.